Today, I'm responding to a listener's request. We are comparing a Kawhi ST1 to a Kawhi 506N. Stick around, it's gonna be fun. Hi, this is Ted Barsalu with Alamo Piano Galleries. You can find us online at alamopianogalleries.com and shop our website and uh, have a look. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And um, if you want, have a look at our website and look at the, the things that we're talking about and uh, try to build up a path of these acoustic pianos uh, from Kauai. And I've tried to point out the distinction of ones that are manufactured in Indonesia and ones that are made in Japan. That seems to be important to some people with comments. But particularly in these two models today is because, well, they look a lot alike. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of difference uh, up front when you look at them is when you start looking at the details. And what is it that corresponds with, the, the, say, the, you know, the ballpark $2,000 price difference? Uh, from both of these pianos. First, I'll start off with the ST1. The ST1 is an absolutely wonderful, great stock issue, choir room, band director, basic piano, rehearsal room, uh, put it on the stage in any kind of institution like a school lunch room or anything, uh, auditorium. It's a great full use workhorse type piano. Uh, it looks very, very similar to other manufacturers models. I'm not going to mention them because they're all out there and they all kind of have the same thing in common with this workhorse type piano. It has generally the block and toe footing with the, the double uh, wheels on the bottom. On top of that, they, this model particularly has the ST1 has five back posts that are solid wood and it has almost a 20, a uh, little over 2000 square inch soundboard. And it does have the ABS carbon component action in it, which means it's the Millennium 3 action. And it's also a 48 inch upright piano. It has about a 47 inch string length. And it's a great joy and thrill and pleasure to play. If you play one in polished ebony, that's my personal preference. I think they just ring and sound better, or maybe it's because I feel better playing a nice polished ebony ST1 as opposed to a wood grain one. Someone might like the wood grain. I'm not knocking them. They all play and sound great. Um, other things I, I like about uh, the ST1 is it has this excessively long uh, for like some stage band and choir uh, charts. Sometimes the whole music might be eight pages and then you have to flip it because it's 16. This has a music rack that can accommodate that. And that is one of the reasons why it is a very, very popular piano with school teachers and also accompanists like it. Even though other manufacturers, American manufacturers, Baldwin used to make a piano very similar to it. Yamaha made the P22, Pearl River has one. Everyone has a P22 type or this type of boxy institutional piano. In this instance, the ST1 and the 506 and that I'm getting ready to talk about are both in that same category. And so the ST1, other things that make it stand out just a little bit more besides the long desk, the carbon component action, uh, they do have longer keys on it. And they do also put the one thing I want to listen here, they have 10 ribs on the soundboard. Whereas on the 506 is one of the differences you can notice. I want to talk a little bit about the 506N. This piano at first sight, if it's next to an SD1, it took me a while to distinguish it uh, from the other. The, um, the 506N is a little shorter. It's about a 45 inch upright. It has about a 45 to almost 46 inch. I think it's about a 45 inch uh, low bass string, whereas the other one is almost 47 and a half inches. Um, they play very, very similar in spite of the fact that the 506N has the ABS Styron action components in it. It's still molded and works exactly like the carbon component, but it is a lesser expensive material, as well as the five back posts on the 506N are lesser expensive back posts. They're laminated. And the soundboard is still a solid spruce soundboard. It is lesser expensive probably by choice, but also by size. It's a couple inches smaller, which means this piano does not have as much surface space 
for its amplifier and speaker, which is the soundboard. When you compare one to the other, they play to me almost exactly alike. The ST1 is a bit more inspiring. It does feel a little bit more rock solid, but then again, that's only because its sound is a bit more rounder, a bit more fuller, kind of fatter and juicier. When you play the 506N, I don't like to use this word, but it's almost like the sound starts to approach a smaller upright. I don't want to say spin it, but the sound is smaller and it doesn't seem to play as loud, uh, even if you try to make up for it by hitting it. So with that, we're going to go to uh, all of the demo rolls that we have for the uh, Kawai ST1. And there's also a demo roll for the Kawai 506 N, and we're going to compare it and you can listen to it at home and see how they sound and then we're going to come back for a wrap up.
So there you have the difference. And please leave me some comments. I want to know what your thoughts are on just the tonality difference. Not so much what I play or how the song goes or I didn't play the same thing, but just the tonality in the experience of the instrument as it appears to you. And um, I'm aware that a lot of times people are product defensive, like, hey, I bought an ST1, so I think it sounds a lot better than the other one. Well, there's no doubt about that. It's, it's a more expensive unit. Um, sometimes uh, in some of these comments, it's always interesting to me, product defensiveness. I had that once, like years and years ago before I came to work here. And uh, after a while, when you see so many instruments and you play so many of them, you realize that, yeah, people tend to be a little defensive over their product choices. Um, whatever kind of sneaker, shoes, car, tires, and I don't know, it goes on and everything. And it's just because we have so many wonderful products. Um, however, these two are just about $2,000 difference in price. And can you hear it? Can you feel it when you're playing it? I would recommend if it's kind of like where you're dealing with beginner, uh, not beginner novelty type students where it's not going to be a, like a tons and tons of applications. The 506 uh, uh, might be a great piano uh, for someone. It's a great piano for any beginner. Uh, it's a phenomenal instrument. I absolutely love this thing. It's better than anything I really had for the longest time. Uh, brand new. Almost all pianos you, you go out and, and sample in this world today, if someone's going through the trouble to manufacture an acoustic instrument, I'm of the firm opinion that about 98.9% .9 of them are going to be about as best as they can for the price that you're paying and not counting used instruments. The manufacturers making new stuff in this day and age, you have to make a good product, otherwise you're just not going to be able to move any of it. The 506N is a great entry line piano for any beginner, any intermediate. Whereas the ST1 might be better because of its projection, its sound, and it's also a little bit more stability, particularly in terms of the action, a more advanced player or even a professional would not mind playing on either one of these pianos, but given a choice, they'd probably take the ST1. And with that, I'd like to remind you, I'm Ted Barslew for Alamo Piano Galleries. And do subscribe to our channel, do send me your questions, do send me your comments, and I've been getting a little bit better at responding to them, and we appreciate all of your time and attention, and certainly for watching and listening. We'll see you next time.